Hi, are you struggling with how your products aren't appealing to the customers anymore? Then let's have a look at what design thinking is and how it helps bring creativity to your products and make them more user-centric. So let's begin. Every year, approximately 20 million premature and low birth weight babies are born. Unfortunately, 4 million babies die within the first month. In addition to that, 99% of the deaths happen in low to middle income countries. Many people can't afford to save their babies' lives because the life-saving device, the infant incubator, is highly expensive for poor people to afford. It costs about $25,000 for a single unit and is completely out of reach for poor people. In 2007, a team was tasked with the project of designing a low-cost incubator for 1% of the standard cost of the infant incubator. The team saw that many of the hospital's donated incubators were empty because babies who needed it were often born miles away. Consequently, making travel impossible for a new mom and her child in a poor village. With these insights, they reframed their design challenge. How might we create a baby warming device that helps parents in remote villages to give their dying infants a chance to survive? Then, they created a tiny sleeping bag containing a paraffin-based pouch, which, once warmed up, can maintain temperature for up to 4 hours. The innovative solution was portable so as to be used at home to keep the baby warm at the correct temperature anywhere in the world. The team spoke to many moms, nurses, midwives and incorporated all the feedback to further iterate their sample. After extensive clinical testing and making over 100 prototypes, the Embrace Infant Warmer was finally born. To accomplish one best version of the Embrace Incubator, the team had to undergo an innovative process of problem solving known as the design thinking. Let's dive deeper into what it is. What is design thinking? Design thinking is a process for solving problems by prioritizing the consumer's needs above all else. It relies on observing with empathy how people interact with their environments and employ an iterative, hands-on approach to creating innovative solutions. Why design thinking is important? Design thinking enables organizations to create lasting value for consumers. It aims to solve a concrete human need. Using an observational, human-centric approach, teams can uncover pain points from the consumer that they hadn't previously thought of, ones that the consumer may not even be aware of. Design thinking can provide solutions to those pain points once they are identified. It tackles problems that are ambiguous or difficult to define. Consumers often don't know what problem they have that needs solving or they can't verbalize it. But upon careful observation, one can identify problems based on what they see from real consumer behavior. This helps define ambiguous problems and in turn, makes it easier to surface solutions. It leads to more innovative solutions. Humans are not capable of imagining things that are not believed to be possible, which makes it impossible for them to ask for things that do not yet exist. Design thinking can help surface some of these unknown pain points that would otherwise have never been known.
Using an iterative approach to tackle those problems often leads to non-obvious, innovative solutions. It makes organizations run faster and more efficiently. Rather than researching a problem for a long time without devising an outcome, design thinking favors creating prototypes and then testing to see how effective they are. The five steps of design thinking process. The five steps of design thinking involve empathy, define, ideate, prototype, and test. Empathy. The first stage of the design process is to understand the perspective of the target customer to identify and address the problem at hand. To do this, design thinkers are encouraged to cast aside all assumptions and be less judgmental. Step into your user's shoes so you can feel and experience their day-to-day -day needs. Define. Putting together all of the information gathered in the first stage, the next step is to define the problem statement clearly. The resulting problem statement should be captured in human-centered terms rather than focused on business goals. Ideate Now that the problem is apparent, it's time to brainstorm ways to address those unmet needs. You collect as many ideas as possible at the start, so that by the end, your team can investigate and test them. The ideation stage marks the transition from identifying problems to exploring solutions. Prototype It's time to experiment. Through trial and error, your team identifies which of the possible solutions can best solve the identified problems. This typically will include scaled down versions of the product or systems in question so you can present and get feedback from the people they are intended to serve. Test Testing is essential because everything ultimately should be about the people who will use your products. Now's the time to revisit the problem statement and make sure the end solution is meeting those needs and resolving frustrations. You want to see what real people think about your idea. This stage allows for all details to be flushed out and refined to create the best solution possible. Now let's move back to our example and study it according to design thinking methodology. From our real-life use case, empathy is that people can't afford to save their baby's lives because the life-saving device, the infant incubator, is highly expensive for poor people to afford and also available in hospitals miles away. Define How might we create a baby-warming device that helps parents in remote villages to give their dying infants a chance to survive. Ideate Ideas and important information about infants and incubators gathered from nurses and mothers. Prototype A baby warmer pouch was created. Test Mothers were given the pouches and results were noted after use. Some inspiring features of design thinking are Happy, engaged employees Design thinking isn't just useful, it's fun. It encourages people to be creative, speak their minds and try out new things. All ideas are welcome and nothing is immediately shot down as impossible or impractical. This new way to approach design helps create an environment where employees are fully engaged in the process. Design team members feel valued and like they have something to contribute. It's a positive environment to be in. 
thinking outside of the box. In the ideate stage of design thinking, everyone is encouraged to think outside of the box. Putting forward an idea that might seem completely unrelated at first might actually become the solution no one could see before. It's during this stage that the teams often have their aha moment. Endless opportunity for innovation. Creating things we didn't know we needed is one of the pillars of design thinking. It encourages people to think about what's possible instead of just adding basic improvements to what we already have. This offers endless opportunities for innovation in any field, from teaching to engineering, better products, a competitive advantage. Finally, the businesses that use design thinking are going to have an advantage over their competitors in most of the things they tackle. The time to market will be faster, the products they design will be closer to what the market is looking for, their team members will be more engaged, and as a bonus, they'll save money on the entire design process. Companies that employ design thinking Uber Creating the future of food delivery through design thinking Google How to brainstorm like a Googler Google's three-step process for generating innovative ideas. Nike Design thinking infuses everything Nike does. How Nike became a fashion powerhouse through design. UCSF and IDEO Application of design thinking to schizophrenia care. Procter & Gamble Using design thinking to guide product development for Oil of Olay brand. So here's a little quiz for all of you. Make sure to answer in the comment section below. The question is that during which stage would you brainstorm ideas based on your observations? A. Prototype B. Define C. Ideate D. Empathize. Some applications of design thinking are healthcare, business, education, and information technology. If you like the video, hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more informative videos.